Hi, I'm Trufman from Overclocking TV and today we have a special uh, product here today that is called the Cloud Disk All Storage Solution Expert. This is the Cloud Disk RAM Disk 101 by All One. Uh, All One is a Taiwanese company and they are making some uh, extremely responsive uh, PCI Express storage. Uh, so let's see what's inside. So if we have the so this is the box we have the uh, the brand address here in Taiwan with the numbers a few a few emails on the back just regular information about the where you can uh, contact with the brand and there's actually like no specification on the box it's only uh, a clear box and what's inside if you open it like this usually you have the manual but I just removed that uh, for the videos and uh, the package looks nice and it actually feel quite uh, good in, in the feeling when you open that. So this is the RAM Disk 101 Cloud Drive by All One. So this little piece of hardware cost about 15k USD, and that is completely intended to run for um, data centers. Uh, that, that is mostly used to boost the random uh, read and write access in, uh, in data centers. So that's basically a PCI Express uh, Generation 1 X4 uh, storage and you can actually plug that in uh, pretty much every system you have PCI Express on it. Uh, as you can see this is coming with the batteries, uh, some SD card slots, as you can see here there's six slots for SD card, we'll come back to that later, there's two slots for uh, DRAMs in, in the front and two slots for DRAMs in the back. So why do you want to do with that? So basically it's a PCI Express storage uh, solution that will um, use a special, special controller from uh, all one that is called the M5338 and this little piece of, pro of uh, hardware will help you boost uh, your IOS basically. They claim to have uh, 470k uh, IOPS, uh, IO per second, um, that's quite impressive, but that's only on the random, so that's uh, something to, to use as a cache drive. There is only uh, 4 times 8 gigabytes of memory in the, in the product. There is uh, the SD card right there that is actually used to store the information that are on the on the RAM on the DRAM to the SD card in case there's uh, power issues um, and, and this you, you run out of power the memory here the battery here is actually used to um, keep the data on the DRAM because you know that once you stop powering the DRAM all the data inside just disappear and so the first thing we will do is to plug the battery so the battery is plugged, you can see it there. So uh, the first thing you have to do when you receive that, uh, that, that product is you plug the battery, so now it's powered. So everything we will uh, plug on the computer and use it, uh, everything you, you have will always stay on the DRAM unless there is no battery. But if there is no batteries, the, um, the special uh, RAM core, they call that the M5338, will take care of using the RAID 5 on the SD card to be sure that your data is always up to date and stored. So let's plug that in our testing computer here, right there, and boot. So here we are, we just installed the Cloud Disk RAM Drive 101 from All One. Uh, this, uh, this piece of software is actually a, RAM, a PCI Express storage solution that will boost the IOPS of your systems. Uh, it's it comes with 6 SD cards, uh, usually 32 gigs card in RAID 5. Uh, there is also 4 slots for Sodium's RAM and DDR3. Uh, usually they come with HyperX memories because they have been uh, tested and uh, validated for that. And there's also a battery that is uh, used to keep the data secure on the DRAM until there's, uh, in case there's no power. So right now we have installed the, the system and the, the RAM disk is here. And we will just run a few benchmarks. Yes, so this is not needed, not needed. 
After a few testing we made, uh, overall we have about a bit more than 600 megabytes per second read and write uh, on the 4K segments. Uh, this uh, RAM drive 101 from All One is using 7.2 watts uh, when it's on load and 6.4 watts when it's idled. That's the manufacturer's uh, specifications. They also claim to have 470k IOPS uh, on, on this product. Um, once again, this is aimed at data centers and uh, caching for like a strong, uh, strong a database or virtual machines in uh, data center or server use. Uh, this RAM drive 101 cost about 5,000 USD with the RAM and the and with the DRAM and the SD card uh, implied in that. That is definitely a product that is not for customers for the consumer market but that is something that we definitely love to play with. Don't forget that if you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to the Overclocking TV channel on YouTube. And if you want to see the result of the testing we did, you can go on overclocking-tv.com. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys for another videos.